Hey, what's up guys, Alone here. So Mercy is getting tweaked when it comes to her resurrect ability. Now, I really want to talk about if this is the right thing to do for the video game. And also I want to talk about how major is this, how important is this, and some other things like that. And also maybe what I think they should do about Mercy. Like, there's obviously a big issue with Mercy. She's, like, in every single game, there's so many one-tricks with Mercy and all that. So yeah, I just want to talk about Mercy, basically, in this video. So let's get started. So the tweak that they made to Mercy was that she cannot resurrect when in spawn anymore or just outside of spawn. So you have to walk a bit further out than in your spawn. Now, how relevant really is this and how many maps can you actually resurrect from that uh, range as Mercy? Now, the correct answer if you're wondering, is three maps. You can do it on Gibraltar, where you can just stand right under the actual point, and you can only do that on the last defense point. You can just, like, walk straight forward after you've spawned, and just stand there and wait, and then resurrect all the people above you. And also you can do it on Temple of Anubis, if you just walk straight forward as well, and just walk into that corner that's straight in front of you, and you can resurrect everyone on the point. And you can do it on King's Row defense, on the last point as well, so it's always on the last points and you can do it in the if you go just outside the yellow spawn door on the left and if people have died just on the point in the end yes you can resurrect from spawn so first off i just want to say that for sure i think this is a very good thing that they have put into the game having something that is an ultimate that is so strong as mercy res have no counterplay whatsoever on these three maps on these three last points was really stupid and it just made it no skill at all and even if you were facing a full six stack pre made of top 500 players and you were all silver players they would not be able to stop that rest on that point if you just sat in the spawn and i think that's really stupid and it's good that they have changed it so you have to actually risk going out there and get the rest off and have maybe an enemy mccree stun you or a roto grip you before you get it off i think that's very good and it rewards uh, game knowledge awareness and reaction time on the enemy team trying to stop you now I did see some people as well commenting about how they also want this for all heroes where you cannot use any ultimates from spawn. And I don't really agree with that, I think Mercy was the big problem. Having for example, if you think about it, all heroes not being able to use their ultimates in spawn would mean that Junkrat cannot, if there's a team fight on the point, use his ultimate in spawn and then roll out with that and try to get kills. That can be countered because you can hear where it's coming from, from the enemy side of the team and you can just kill it as soon as he comes out of spawn. So that still has counterplay and you can still use that in spawn. So there are heroes where you actually want to use your ultimate in spawn and it's not wasted and it's very tactical and can be countered by the enemy team. So what comes next in this video is going to be my personal opinions and please calm down with the pitchforks. It's my opinions, and if you don't agree, then please let me know what you think the problem with Mercy is in the comment section below and all that. But I just want to talk about my opinions when it comes to Mercy and what I think they should do to tweak her. And of course, I'm not a balancing master ever about the game, but I think maybe a variation of what I'm going to be talking about is what I would like to see in my personal opinion, when it comes to Mercy in the future. So the difference between the Mercy Resurrect and the other support ultimate is that Mercy Resurrect is usually used after a team fight. meanwhile the other ones are used during or before a team fight. The Nano Boost can be used during a team fight to give maybe Nano to a Genji or a Soldier to try to turn the fight, or it can be used before the team fight to try push in instantly with it and try to team wipe the enemy team. Same with Lucio Beat, if the enemy Genji is using his blade, you can use Lucio Beat and prevent anyone from dying. Dying. Also the same with Transcendence, it prevents people from dying. And during the beat and the Transcendence from the two different supports, Lucio and the Senyata, your team is going to have time to kill the enemy team and therefore giving you a numbers advantage after the ultimate as well. Now for Mercy in solo queue you could say that yeah it's very easy to just hide behind the corner and then just peek out and rest your entire team but the really good Mercies I've seen streams of and YouTube videos and all that they actually stay kind of active in the team fights damage boosting and healing targets but when the enemy team is pushing in they make sure they're dodging bullets all the time by flying between targets being really hard to kill. Now even if you do that and you stay really active in the team fight or you're hiding not doing really anything for the fight, if you die, if you happen to die, if you're unlucky, if the enemy team finds you, kills you when you're hiding or you're being active in the team fight and you're actually healing people and doing stuff, if you die before you get your ultimate off, it's like you were a Lucio that just didn't pop his ultimate. When the enemy team used the soldier ultimate, 
you just didn't pop the ultimate as Lucio and I think that's the big issue your ultimate can be like five Lucio beats like a billion Lucio beats if you actually get it off at the right time but if you don't it's like you were a Lucio that just didn't pop his ultimate and I think that's the big issue about Mercy Alright, so here comes my opinion. I think they should make the Mercy Res only res one person. Only one. Nothing else. Not an entire team and just hide behind the corner, fly out and rest the entire team and instantly win the team fight. I think you should rest one person. That's going to be the one you're looking at the dead corpse of. The yellow soul thingy that you can target and fly to. That's going to be the one you're resurrecting. But I think the ultimate charge should be upped a lot. I think you should gain the ultimate maybe twice as fast or three times as fast so you have the ultimate for basically every single team fight. I think this would make it way more fun to play the hero because as soon as someone dies in the team fight you can decide is that someone I want to really have for this team fight? Is that maybe a soldier that has ultimate and just unluckily got one shot by a Senyata right click? Okay, he can probably turn the tides in this team fight, so I'm going to resurrect him. Or if for example a Roadhog in your team died and your soldier is just getting nano boost and going in destroying the entire enemy team, you might think that's probably not worth the rest, I'm going to keep it for now, but then again, I get it so fast, so maybe I could use it. It way makes it way more engaging to play the hero, and also you can't just hide in a corner, because if you hide in a corner, well then if you do that, your entire enemy team, uh, your entire team is going to die, and if you fly in and just rest Reinhardt or something, that's not going to turn the tides in the team fight. But yeah, that's obviously my opinion, I think Mercy is a very interesting character, she's currently in like every single game that I play, both on the enemy team and my team, she's definitely in the meta, you could say for sure. And you know, Farah Mercy is not the most fun thing to face, and having her being able to only rest her Farah like continuously every single time she dies could be an issue, I just thought of that, you know, but at the same time if she only rests her Farah, you can just get a Widow and farm the hell out of him. So we will have to see what they do about Mercy in the future, I think this is a good change that they did, you cannot rest in spawn anymore, you know, it was kind of busted, and there's just no counterplay to it. So anyways, that is going to do it for this video, if you did like the video, then please Please leave a like. It doesn't really do anything, but it lets me know you guys thought that was a pretty neat video, you know? And that's pretty nice. And also, if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe so you know when I post content. You guys know this. You've been on YouTube before. That's awesome. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.